Hello everyone, Ozzy's back again. Today we're going to look at sloped roofs. I've been looking at screenshots and visiting some of the places around and I see a lot of different implementations of sloped roofs but a lot of the people seem to be using the smoothing tool and it just kind of looks well melted. I was experimenting and I think I've found an interesting way to pull this off. What we do is we grab the sloped tool, we then make it as big as we can, and then we'll get it up off the ground just so I have room to play with, and we lay it out in space. Then we drop down two. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. We have to experiment. But if you drop down two and then hit your cut and it turns your tool into a cut instead of a and instead of an add, or I'm sorry, a delete instead of an add, and you click, you create a perfectly sloped surface. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get this horrible crenellated step looking thing. It seems to be random. However, once you have this perfectly sloped surface, you can now grab the entire thing and I'm actually going to add it to my templates. But we can press Control C and then Control V and here we have our roof and I'm going to flip it and line it up with the roof I've got there and leave my mouse perfectly situated. Bring it down and move it this way. Bring it down. And I hope I've got it lined up horizontally. I cannot tell and I don't want to move my mouse. That looks better. Click. And of course it's, oh, that's an old paste. All right, let's undo that. And let's go ahead and just grab it straight from my template. There we go. And you see how it looks crenellated? We'll, uh, we'll see how it pastes. Again, it's not very consistent. Oh, now it's sloped. But we'll bring it down and we'll line it up with the body that's there. Bring it down a little more. Slide it over. Bring it down slide it over and there you have a perfectly slow proof wow that actually turned out better than i was expecting it and what i like about this is the fact that it actually looks like a roof on the inside and then you can do something like my iron chandelier and i'll hang it here on the ground and then i will go move and i'll pick it up and I'll move, and I'll slide it over. But you get an idea I'm going with here. I can actually put this thing hanging from my actual ceiling. Oh, wow. I like that. It could be a little more centered. It'd be a lot more centered. All right. Let's center it real quick. But put this inside a house, I really like this. So, and the texture I used, by the way, was shingles. And you can cut and paste this and you can lengthen it and you can cut and paste any individual side and make it even longer. You can make massive vaulted ceilings with this. I hope this helps. When you're doing it, realize that every once in a while when you, when you remove the internal texture, the outside piece will turn to steps. You'll have to do it over again. It doesn't seem to be consistent. This is alpha, hopefully they'll fix that. Hope this helps. Hope someone can use it. Thanks for watching.